Good evening, I'm Lena Hassanel. Welcome to BizWorld. Bank Negara Malaysia Governor Tan Sri Nor Shamsiah Muhammad Yunus dispelled the alleged link between Malaysia's OPR hike and the rise in individual bankruptcies in the country, saying that the number of individual bankruptcies in the nation has been declining since 2016. The number of youths under 35 facing bankruptcy accounted for 14% of all cases from January to May 2022 a 10.9% decline from its previous rate of 24.9% from 2017 to 2019. The declining trend was from seven domestic financial institutions, which accounted for 71% of loans in the banking system. It was said that declaring someone bankrupt was a financial institution's last resort and was only done after all other remedial efforts to recover the loan were unsuccessful. The transfer of a portion of non-COVID-19 patients from government hospitals to private hospitals or decanting process will continue despite the country being in the endemic stage. Deputy Health Minister Datuk Dr. Nur Azmi Ghazali said his ministry has received a budget of 70 million ringgit to be spent on decanting process, which is expected to cover 8,000 cases this year. For this year, uh, kita dah mendapat uh, approval daripada MOF untuk membelanjakan 70 juta uh, which is expected to cover uh, 8000 cases. Uh, yang ni yang apa apa tu inisiatif daripada KKM untuk uh, meringankan beban kerja di hospital kerajaan uh, dan juga untuk uh, bekerjasama dengan pihak uh, swasta. He added that there are emerging public-private partnerships models in healthcare financing and service delivery, which needs to be expanded further. This is in order to effectively maximize all the existing healthcare capacities and bridge the gaps in the country. Close partnership between sectors can also increase treatment options for the lower and middle income groups, as well as to ensure continuity of care, particularly for patients with chronic diseases. New townships, long-term outlook and strategies moving forward, uncovering opportunities to attract foreign investors, strategies to restore financial position and business, driving the economic and social growth of the state of Selangor. Join me, Anita Wu, and PKNS CEO, Datuk Mahmud Abbas, this Saturday, 5 p.m. on TV Tiga. The government is urged to subsidize the purchase of electric vehicles, EV, similar to its neighboring counterparts, in an effort to reduce carbon emissions in the country. As for bus bodybuilder Gamilang International, the challenge now is to pricing for the EV buses, which can be as high as 10% versus diesel buses due to battery prices. Supply a bus, $100, government may give 30% subsidy. Uh, then become the uh, fuel price, I mean the uh, diesel bus, something like that. A lot of countries are doing the same day, same way. Like, uh, for example, uh, even Singapore, their small vehicle electrified. When you purchase a delivery van, for example, the government subsidized 30% from the, 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 the whole vehicle price. The government also needs to support the EV infrastructure, such as charging stations. Currently, few EV buses are under trial run in Sabah and Sarawak, where it is found to be five times cheaper to run compared to fuel. Under Budget 2022, the government provides full exemptions from excise duties and sales tax, as well as road tax up to 100% for EVs. Inflation in Asia remains low due to effective monetary policy by the central banks and there is a great schism between inflation outlook in advanced and Asian economies. However, according to GYIQ iGlobal Chief Economist Shan Said, the global economy remains uncertain with a lot of fragilities in the post-COVID-19 era. Meanwhile, supply chain disruption, geopolitical risk, high oil prices as well as shortages are among the exogenous variables which are impacting the global economy. It was said that due to the conflict between Ukraine and Russia, supply chain bottlenecks and subsequent inflation, global economic projections are getting revised downwards from big banks globally. 
That's all the time we have for BizWorld. I'm Lena Hassanel. Thank you for investing your time with us.